Well, hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Yes, I know, I told you no more knives, no more knives. I have all the knives that I need. That was a lie. And I'm your uncle. Well, not exactly a lie. Come on, I, I didn't lie to you. It's just that I was interested in, in trying a few knives that I uh, saw a year ago, a year and a half ago, and only in the last uh, four or five weeks I had the time and money to invest and buy these knives. I will make a review of each one of them. Uh, this is the first one from a brand called QSP, which I, well, I didn't know anything about, actually. It's a Chinese brand, quite young. I guess. And um, a year ago on a forum, somebody uh, reviewed this knife in particular. This is the worker. And uh, I said to myself, well, it's going to be, it's going to be mine one day. And finally, I got to buy it. And uh, today I want to show it to you. It comes in this little box, which is very well made, very solid. And it, I know it's not important when you buy a knife. Uh, that the, the, the box it comes in is as good as the knife. But in this case, I, I already liked it. It opens like that, slides out, to reveal its content. The Worker. This model is called the Worker. It comes in three different colors, just the scales change. The rest of the knife is the same. Mine, the one I chose, is the Black G10 version. And uh, aside from the cardboard box, which is very well made, as I told you, the knife comes with a sheath, well, with a an holster. I like holsters, I like to have it on my belt when I'm camping or I'm around, so that's another plus. But we will talk about the holster later. In the box we have a tiny little piece of paper that tells us, well, a few things about the uh, brand, QSP, and uh, quite a very detailed series of informations uh, about the knife, its length, its weight, and so on. That's good. And here it is, the worker. At first glance, it made me think of those sailor's knives. That's this, this kind of design uh, is usually found on old sailor's knives, which I always liked, but I never owned one. And I went for the black G10 just because the other colors, I have to be honest, are not, mm, let's say, my cup of tea. On this side, you see the QSP logo. And on the other side, where the clip is, oh, by the way, the clip is only on this side. There's no way you can attach it to the other. And on this side, you can see, I hope you can see that. Camera, come on, help me. Well, actually, you can't see it too well. Ah, oh, there it is. Uh, the name of Mr. Arthur Brem, who designed the, um, the knife and uh, the type of steel they used, which is N690 by Böller. So, German guy designed it, uh, Austrian steel and Chinese company. Uh, that's, a, that, that's a good combination. I, I, when I saw that, when I read that, I said, okay, this one I have to try. I went for the black version, G10 version. Uh, there are two other colors, actually, no, three other colors. One is some jeans thing with some blue in it. I don't know, not a big fan of those colors. So I went with uh, the G10, classic black, and on a sailor's knife. I keep calling it a sailor's knife because my friends, when I showed it uh, to them, they said, oh, it's a sailor's knife. Um, on a knife like this, black is, well, probably the best color. Uh, the rest is all steel, steel everywhere. It's a backlock, as you can see. And speaking of backlocks, you know that I'm a fan of backlocks. Bye bye knife. Sorry for that. You know that I'm a big fan of backlocks uh, because they're classic and if they're well done, and this one is, they will serve you very well and last a lifetime. Um, in the case of this knife, uh, the fact that it has ceramic ball bearings, uh, when you open the blade, uh, well, you don't even feel you're opening it. It's super smooth and super light, but it won't open by itself, of course. I tried that, so uh, the blade is safe, uh, but when you open it, really no effort at all. The click is a good click. My Eka Sweet 10 has a, has a stronger click, but the lock is very safe. I've used it now for uh, more than a month and uh, never had a single problem, no blade play at all. Uh, for a blade that it's, in the end, nine centimeter by three millimeters. This is three millimeters thick. So it's a, it's some serious steel. Before you ask this little masterpiece of a lanyard 
that you can see uh, is my creation. It doesn't come with the knife. And thank God it doesn't come with a knife because it's horrible. I like the fact that it's uh, nothing too fancy. Uh, it's just a strong knife. Maybe a bit too big for some. I don't know. This is your personal preference. So, but uh, with nine centimeter uh, a blade like this uh, might be a little too big to have it in your pocket all day. But as the name suggests, this is a worker. So I used it to open cardboard boxes and cut uh, rope and food, and I had absolutely no problem. It's very easy to wash because it's all steel. Now, on many models they make, they use D2 steel, which is a steel that I really like. Uh, I've had a few knives, I still have one or, or two knives in D2, and D2 is a very good good steel. Uh, not totally, not completely uh, stainless, but it's very uh, resistant, so very good steel, and very easy to sharpen when compared to newer steels, so-called super steels. But anyway, uh, when I saw that they made this one in particular in N690, which is uh, the same steel I have of my on my Enzo Trapper. I was very reassured because I'm familiar with that type of steel, and I went for this one immediately. The edges are almost perfectly straight, but I've reground it anyway, as I do on all my knives, folders, or fixed blades, um, with a 20 degree per side edge, plus the stropping, which makes it a little convex. Anyway, it's a razor, actually. Uh, so I'm very happy with it and the fact that um, the edge retention is very good as I expected on a steel like N690. The scales do their job. Um, they're not slippery, but they're not super grippy either. They're very thin to make the, the knife easier to carry. I never had a, a problem. And you can consider the clip like, a, well, like something to give more support to your hand when you hold the knife. Anyway, since it's a folder, uh, you're not gonna chop down trees with it, so uh, I didn't need a particularly grippy or thick handle. As I told you, I love the fact that a holster is included, and what a holster, this is a very well-made leather holster. In case you decided to buy the knife, just keep in mind that uh, it's lighter. When you buy it, I had to work on my with some polish and some other products to get the leather to the tone that I wanted. And now it's perfect, absolutely perfect. Now the price. Um, this is not a cheap knife. I found it on our website for 70, no, almost, almost 80 euros. Then I found it, and then I found another website and I bought it from them because they sold it for somewhere around 70 euros. It's not cheap, it's not expensive either, it's just the right price, in my opinion, of course, for a knife like this. So the QSP Worker. It's a really good knife. I was very surprised when I bought it. Not that I was skeptical, but uh, I didn't know what to expect. And um, I got a very solid, elegant, in a way, beautiful knife. Mr. Arthur Brehm, good job. And uh, with a great steel and 690 and for, for a good price. Let me know what you think of this knife, if you have it. Let me know what you think of the video, of course. This is The Worker by QSB. Thank you for watching. I'm your uncle.